To turn on GRI AC Wi-Fi mode and to connect GRI AC to Wi-Fi. In order to use GRI Plus app as a GRI AC remote, follow these instructions. First of all, download GRI Plus app from Google Play Store for Android or Apple Store if you have iPhone. You can find the link in the description. After installing GRI Plus app on your phone, turn on the GRI air conditioner and activate Wi Fi mode. To activate Wi Fi mode, press and hold the Wi Fi button on your GRI AC remote for 10 seconds until the indoor unit beeps twice and the Wi-Fi icon appear on the display of your GRI AC remote. In case your GRI AC remote does not have the Wi-Fi button, then you can press and hold mode and turbo buttons together for 10 seconds until the unit beeps twice and you see the Wi-Fi symbol on the AC remote screen. Once you have activated Wi-Fi mode, it's time to sign up on the GRI Plus app. Open GRI Plus app and create username and password to sign up on the app. After successful sign up, tap the plus button from the home page. If you want GRI Plus app to remember your network password, check the box, which is optional, then tap the search for device button. GRI Plus app will search your Wi Fi network for your GRI AC unit. When a GRI unit is found, it will automatically be registered and GRI Plus app will display the device name of your GRI AC unit. If Wi-Fi connection fails, here is a troubleshooting guide. First make sure your electrical power is turned on for the outdoor and indoor units and your AC supports Wi-Fi function. Then check the Wi-Fi mode is turned on. Ensure that you are connected to 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi router instead of 5 GHz router. And your mobile data is turned off. You can use mobile data to use GRI Plus app once the connection is complete. If GRI Plus app does not show your AC unit, then you need to change some router settings. To change Wi-Fi router settings, Open browser in your laptop and log in to the specific IP URL provided by the Wi Fi network. Ensure that you are connected to the same Wi Fi router on your laptop. Use the credential provided by the network. Provide to log in the router and change these settings. Look for a section labeled Wireless Settings, Wi Fi Settings, or similar. If your router is dual band, ensure you're editing the 2.4 GHz band settings. Locate the security mode or encryption option and set encryption to WPA2. In the same section, find channel width or bandwidth settings and set channel width to 20 MHz. Once done, save changes in router and restart the router afterwards. You can try connection again. If you still cannot log in, then log into router admin again and look for an option labeled wireless mode, network mode, or similar. Set it to 802.11G. Save the router settings and try again. Hopefully now you can connect easily. However, if you still have a problem, then make sure your AC supports Wi-Fi function or not. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel for more videos.